Yeah, good morning, good morning, guys. I know, right? Freaking crazy, man. Another video. But let's do it, man. It's good. This one is really good. You're going to love it. So, you know when you're like trying to sleep and you're like having all these problems, you're like, oh my God, I just need to sleep. My cycle's crazy. I need just, I need more rest, more relaxation. So, how to get better sleep when it's affected with PTSD or your biological clock, you know? Something that could help you with flashbacks or something that happened to you in the past or even just thinking about the competition every day, every day, your cycle, prepping everything, having everything organized, everything set, you know, so you could actually be productive. So what do you do? Is there a protocol for this? There is a protocol. There's a really nice sleeping protocol, um, something that could help you uh, feel amazing. Uh, you could actually improve a lot of things if you do it right. So in this case, what I do is, when I feel like this, and I'm starting to catch some memories back from Iraq, from war, or even I got an event, I rather I really want to get you know shredded and look amazing, or just you know get into a video with Dr. Tony, just anything, man. I take pride of, of everything. I like to look, look good. I like to shave and you know maintain myself. So in this case, sleep is one of the most important things. You have to be cautious and be aware that you got to protect your sleep because that is important i mean that could dictate how long you live so imagine longevity is one of the things i'm really hardcore on so that's one of the things you got to do yes you're gonna be there's gonna be days that you won't sleep um that you have to train harder but you always respect it right so what, what are your thoughts what are things drop in the comment section below what, what things do you do to get better sleep when you're on, on a bodybuilding cycle let's open up with uh you know a topic so everybody could see and we could help each other because we are one team one fight but in this case i'm going to show you guys my own personal uh, protocol because it's something that really works so you guys know what delta eight is delta eight is a cannabis right but it's almost like uh it's not thc but it's really really unique and you could get it in gummies. And I'm talking about like Delta 8. See? Delta 8. So they come in watermelon or, or ring. Uh, they, they, they come different flavors. But these, this one is 500 micrograms. So what I do, I take half of the gummy and I still feel it. And I'm starting to feel like, you know, the mood of the melatonin is starting to freaking kick in. And, and feeling that, you know, the sleep juice is something else I use. You know, but sometimes the sleep juice is not enough. You know, even though it has, it's amazing, it helps. It like gives you the best, you know. But if you want to take just one scoop of sleep juice, go ahead and add Delta 8, any, any type. There's a lot of different Delta 8s. Just one that's 500 micrograms and just divide it because that way you have more for your buck, you know, save money. Always think about that. Another thing is adding a peptide, a peptide called uh, Delta Sleep or Solanc. I like to add Solanc because it's more mellow. It helps you relax. You feel like in top of the world. It's like more like a feeling of just, oh my God, I can go to sleep whenever I say I'm going to sleep. And that's what it's all about. Because when you're building a cycle and you're doing trend below, and you're taking tests, and you got EQ, and now you feel it, and you got the cold switch, the night switch, whatever you wanna call it, the night switch, and you're on DP. You're like, oh my God, it's gonna be a hard night. What I do is I say to myself, let's fucking embrace it, you know? I'm gonna embrace this night, even if I don't sleep, because it's just part of the process, but sometimes it's too much. So in this case, I do add Solanc peptide, and it helps so much. I'll add five, micrograms of Ambien. So that's a little bit just to get you an extra boost. Because if I use Trazodone, which is something that a lot of people use, it's really intense. It's just talking about like a hardcore. So if you need a hardcore, add Trazodone. But in this case, just use five because we're using the less possible of everything. So you could have a good combination to feel mellow, good, wake up in the morning with energy and not sleepy. You want to be able to wake up and be like, 
let's do this, you know, I'm going to work out, let's freaking work out right now, you know, that kind of deal. Another one that you want to use and try to get your hands on, you could find it really easy, if you can't find it, let me know, I'll tell you how to find it, Boost Bar. Boost Bar is a medication that was prescribed many years ago for depression, for PTSD, but it's almost like a Xanax or like a Clonopin, but without the effect that you feel like you need it every day or without the zombie, I can't, you know, function kind of deal. Boost Bar is going to give you like the extreme focus, almost like you are in an antropics. You know, and you feel great. It's almost, it's almost like Adderall, I think. Um, for me, I like it because I'll use just five micrograms too, and they give it to me in 15 in prescription, just because I asked for it. And they're like, oh yeah, let's give it to you, just you know, until now with a little bit of price. Yeah. Just PTSD from my rack. You know, I got to be real with you guys. You know, you still remember shit. So, so in this case, Boost Bar helps um, a lot, tremendously. Now. The cannabis gummies, CBD, will help you. Remember we talked about the Delta 8? That is something that's really good. You could use it, there's many ways. You could smoke it, you could destroy your lungs, or you could just use edibles. Edibles work amazing. There's many other ways of cannabis, many. There's five, there's four different breeds, and of which a lot of people don't know about Rudriales. Rudriales is one of the breeds from cannabis that is grown anywhere in earth, naturally, in the mountains, but it's really rare. It's a really rare leaf. Now it's really high in, in THC and it's really high in CBD. So it will give you like the best motivation and sexual desire you could ever have in life. And people only know about three of them. They don't know about Rodriguez. They only know about THC, CBD, or just a mix combo, 50-50%. And you should know about all four. In this case, if you get your hands with Delta 8, just stay with the, you know, CBD. It's pretty, pretty hardcore. You're gonna feel it. If you take 500, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna have probably dry mouth. Um, you're gonna feel a little high. Uh, not bad, because if you need to focus, you'll be able to focus. It's just, I like to have dry mouth. I don't know about you guys. But, but that's actually, a really amazing productive way to look at sleeping now so for the future if you do need help to sleep do this and of course I want to teach you one simple thing a lot of doctors don't know that if they give you melatonin prescription grade melatonin which is you know it's gonna be the same thing that you buy anywhere over the counter melatonin is gonna make your blood sugar level drop i'm talking about you're gonna be waking up at night wanting to eat like oreos if you have them in the house or something with chocolatey or something with a lot of sugar Nutella. but don't listen to me don't don't let me get you guys and break your diets and stuff just remember this melatonin does drop your blood sugar so you will feel it and it, and it could be dangerous if you're doing a cut so be aware that melatonin drops sugar levels and you're gonna have to eat something before you go to sleep if you use melatonin in this protocol. That means, what could you eat in this case? In this case, it's just gonna already lower your blood sugar so much. You could have fructose. You could have a French toast with syrup, but make it low calorie, calorie dense. So you're always counting your calories. Don't count macros, man. Don't waste your time counting macros for real. Um, just count the calories. Anyway, that, some cereal Lucky Charms, my perfect treat. Um, yeah, I eat Lucky Charms. I do it. The kids like it. Um, they have a really strict diet, too. Um, I'm the type of parent that I want to correct everything, but I also want them to enjoy their, their you know, little bit of tiny, you know, age. So I think it's really nice to have balance. And I show them that they have to earn it. So that means that they eat their broccoli and they have their great three meals of the day. They could have some cereal with daddy and mommy at nighttime. And that's just something that you could teach them. They have to earn the, the bad stuff. 
like the you know something that's not going to benefit you a lot you know they do the exercises they sleep great it helps them they feel energized um yeah it's it's really good so it's really something beautiful to implement into a family structure show your family and share the particles you have that you find out that work for you so you could have a better lifestyle you know a better healthy living relationship with your you know significant other right now i have a lot of guys that come to me and tell me man my wife don't let me do this bro like i really want to transform i'm gonna hire you i want to get into this but i don't even know how to tell her our opinion in secret inside the bathroom that's wrong dude you have to tell her you have to you have to do you, do you love her man tell her the truth if it's bad it's bad tell her the truth tell her the truth man be like baby come on i need to talk to you there's gonna be some hard shit. I never done this shit in my life, but I gotta tell you how it is. And I'm not gonna like circle back. I want trust. Love you. I don't want to pick anybody else. I want it to be you. You respect me. I respect you. And this is why I'm doing it. I'm a man. I want to live freedom and liberty. I want to do things different. I want to be the best I can be for you, for my family, and provide. I am going to take steroids. This is the reason why. Then do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. Have your wife and, and you sit down with me and I will explain every single aspect, bad and good, so that you can understand like my wife understands. Because if you need testosterone, brother, you need testosterone. And sometimes a lot of the things that are out there are not real. She needs to learn the truth and the benefits. And I'm a paramedic, so I know. But I hope you guys sleep well. Um, it's a good video. It's just, you know, a short one, but it's about sleeping. So remember how to get better sleep when it's affected with PTSD thoughts or biological clock that you have set up in your life that you can't even have a structure. Build a plan of action. Stay organized. Do this protocol. Remember, we talked about Delta 8, Solanc, Ambien, Trazodone, Boost Bar, Cannabis in total in general. And it's basically what you really need. Just add some sleep juice and you're all juiced up to sleep. You can feel amazing. Anyways, I love you guys. Uh, you guys don't ha haven't seen sleep juice. Let me actually show you really quick where it is. And of course, sleep juice. Yeah. This shit is amazing. I can't, dude, I can't go without it. Anyway, so anyway, I love you guys. Coach Elias from Enhanced Athletes. You guys know, I'm out.